Hi, dear doers. One of the basics in accounting good practice is that it is required to reconcile payments with bank statements to prove that bank transactions actually match your accounting records. Therefore, we need to register our bank statements in Odoo. You have different possibilities to do so. You can either create them manually, import them, or even better, synchronize your bank with the database. In the last case, the bank statements will automatically be created thanks to the synchronization with your bank account. Let's check it out in Odoo, shall we? Okay, guys, let's go in the accounting applications to see how to generate your bank statements. So as I was saying, there are different possibilities. The first one is to synchronize your bank account with Odoo to have automatically your bank statements created in the database. So you click on online synchronization on your bank journal and you see here a pop-up appear with the list of all the bank integrations available between Odoo and the bank platforms. So for Belgium here, you see I have a few, but I can also click on worldwide. I see the whole list of integrations available. Here, this is a test environment. So as you can see, there are not a lot in Belgium, but of course, in a real database, you will see all the integrations, which is more than 25,000 integrations uh, at the moment. So let's see, let's say, let's say I want to uh, synchronize Belfius. I will try to connect. And here I have to put first a bank uh, a phone number that and send the code a confirmation call that I have, of course, to add in my pop-up page. I validate. I have to lastly put an email, a valid email, and continue. Automatically, I am uh, pushed back to the Belfast platform where I have to follow additional steps. So I'll just have to put the IBAN number of my bank account and proceed. And you just follow the steps which are super easy, super convenient. So here, uh, it's a business bank account. I will proceed. Uh, I will put the details of uh, my, my bank account, accepting the conditions, and finally confirm. And once you confirm, you will be also redirected to your business platform where you will have to validate with your own bank credentials. I'm just going to go back here. I'm going to stop here and go back to the database. If you want to check all the synchronizations that you have in your database, what you need to do is go in the configuration menu and you have the online synchronization available here. As you can see, I have one which is not connected because we haven't finished the process. And from there, you have all the information available for that synchronization. Second possibility, if you want to uh, generate bank statement, is that you can create them manually. So here in my bank journal, again, I have different possibilities. And the first one is to create a bank statement. So from here, you see what a bank statement look like. It looks like in a So let's say I want, I'm going to put the name, the first reference, the valid date, and I'm going to add here uh, invoice, the, the reference of payment, like this. A, you can add a partner, so you can assign to which partner it will be uh, this transaction is related to, and the, finally, the amount. And I can add as many as I want, so I could say here, uh, bank fees, for example, minus five euros, and so on. And you can see at the bottom of the page that the balance of all the transactions is automatically computed, and what you need to do is always add this up to the ending balance. Once this is done, you can just decide to post and you are ready to reconcile. Okay, Eva, but I didn't see any option in your auto journal to create or import a bank statement. What's going on? Well, actually, as you, as you were saying, in my ING bank journal, I don't have the, the feature showing me to synchronize or create or import. That's because uh, if we check out the configuration menu here, we have uh, chosen in the bank fees feature the automated bank synchronization. So if you put it in undefined, you will see all the possibilities. Rather than to check out the import or the automated, you will all only see one of those. If I save and I go back to the dashboard, as you can see, the magic has happened and I have the synchronization, the create and the import possibility. You have also the possibility from the toggle menu here to create, uh, to import and to create new statements if you want to. Well, speaking of which, let's go import a new one. So I'm going to import from my bank journal uh, using uh, a CSV file that I have. So as you can see, you have different formats available to import a bank statement. So you have already a few of them here, but if you want to activate other formats, these are available in the settings of the accounting application. You can select multiple files at once if you want to as well. I'm going to select it and upload it. 
I arrive here on the import interface and as you can see in, I have a bit more informatting options than usual. What is important when you import a bank statement of course is uh, the separator for the CSV file, the date format which is really important if you don't want to mess up your dates and also the thousands and the decimal separator. I'm going to test, everything seems valid and I'm going to import. This is what you get when you import your bank statement. So I have my three different transactions available and I can decide to uh, put my own reference and finally put my ending balance. I have to post and here I am ready to reconcile. That's it for this video. Don't forget to watch our related video, Bank Statement and Reconciliation, and make sure to read our online documentation for more info on bank synchronization. Thank you for watching. Ciao tutti.